Now turning to another Shawnigan community's environmental impact concerns re regarding the estates at Shawnigan Station. Again, we have concerns and issues uh, re the government signing off on a land development plan. We, um, the public of BC, are supposed to be able to trust the professionals. That's what this government tells us, that under the, the government's professional reliance model, their uh, red tape uh, cutting model, uh, that the professionals are going to protect the public interest. They're going to protect the environment. They're going to protect our land and water to protect the citizens of British Columbia. However, in this case, the Ministry of Transportation and the developer and the CBRD were all involved. However, I'm told it was ultimately the MOT government representatives that signed off on a plan for a subdivision. Shawnigan residents bought these homes trusting that the regulators, the professionals, would require it to be done properly to protect the public safety. Yet now the homeowners are told by engineers that they had to hire that there is a significant risk to potential loss of life and or property damage in, in the event of a future soil rock and or tree false uh, hazard event. The report concludes that time is of the essence and immediate action is warranted. And if you've been down there and saw this, this is a, a sheer bank that was uh, allowed. In my opinion, it should have been, and I'm no hydrologist or geologist, but it should have been stepped back. You don't have a sheer cliff with trees up there right next to homes in a, in a uh, subdivision. My Shawnigan constituents who are living under a potential environmental and, and government approved plan that could lead to disaster. These are the residents of a bare land strata south of Shawnigan Lake, BC. Uh, during construction of the subdivision, excavation was permitted to follow a plan that created a man-made, unstable rock face. Several substantial rock falls have already occurred since the occupancy by families, causing damage to the catchment wall. Fear of future landslides has already caused at least one resident to leave Honorable Speaker. Two geotechnical reports describe the hazards as risking life and property and recommend substantial and immediate remediation. The scope of this work is well beyond the financial and managerial capacity of the Shawnigan residents. Uh, in fact, the current families living in this region had no hand in creating the hazard that they have inherited but they have inherited this problem. And it is evident that the design, construction, and particularly the Thank approval you, phases failed to protect the community. Thank you, member. I want to finish up on the estates at Shawnigan issue. Again, this is a sheer, a sheer bank, probably as high as this roof is. It's, it's very significantly um, straight up and down. And then imagine trees up there as well, trees on, if they were up by the ceiling then you've got your house right next to it, a little retaining wall to protect you from uh, these environmental uh, issues and concerns. Uh, it's evident that the design, construction, and particularly the approval phase of this project failed to adequately assess and mitigate the significant hazards to these communities and the uh, family. It is unclear how the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure, as the approving agency, I might add, moved from a preliminary approval of, and it did have six conditions back in April of 2008 to a final approval document, October uh, 2008. My constituents wonder, will anyone be held accountable or deal with this problem before disaster strikes, or must it be forced to be held accountable through more legal action? It really, is this how the professional reliance model uh, designed by this government works? Unbelievable. In early October 2015, my student um, constituents were advised by their uh, geotechnical consultant that this is an unstable rock face. It exposes them to considerable danger and that an immediate remediation Thank is you, necessary. Member. I hope the government is listening and we're looking forward to your help. Thank, Thank you, you, Honorable Speaker.